Hi everyone and welcome to the Sunday Shave, to the Weekend Shave. How are you doing? You alright? I hope so, and I hope you're having some fantastic shaves. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for their contributions and questions and comments under the Q&A video. And you may notice, <laughs> you'll be sick of the sight of me this week. <laughs> Um, there's one more video, part four, to go on the answers video. And the reason there's four videos and they're so long is because I had so many questions. Uh, it was overwhelming. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. I didn't expect to get so many. Um, I hope I answered them um, correctly, if you like. Uh, I answered them honestly, anyway. Um, just to note, uh, in the answers video, uh, I did a, what was the answer, what was the most underrated soap and uh, Stephen pointed out, it did, it come across wrong I think, um, when I said it was underrated, I didn't mean it was underrated, the artisan soap, sorry, I, I said they're very underrated, but I didn't mean they're underrated by our sort of wet shaving community if you like in all its media formats uh, I meant as a global as a whole sort of thing um, worldwide really it's not it's underrated they should be you know out there in the shops they should be a few selections of artisan soaps in shops mainstream um, that's what I meant but it didn't come across like that <laughs> Of course they're fantastic, that's, that's how I know they're fantastic because so many people on this channel, many other YouTube channels and as I say other media for, formats, Facebook, forums, websites, uh, speak so highly of them and uh, well deserved it is. So I apologise if I came across wrong and I didn't mean within our community that they're underrated. Right. Um, you may notice a new feature, well the flowers are not a new feature, but there's a, a cupboard up here, the shelving unit, which Mrs H bought, picked, and I put up. And I'll zoom in, um, it's got a selection of uh, razors up here, brushes in the middle, and a couple of uh, shaving scuttles. Uh, the contents of that will change over the time, but it's just like a little feature. Uh, to fill the space and uh, give it a bit more of a shaving den, shaving bathroom feel really and um, today's shave is a secret shave and this idea was given to me and it's been set by my friend Alistair who as I record this is skiing in Austria and he said, I may watch the video while I'm there, or I'll leave it till I come back. So if you're watching it over there, Alistair, have a fantastic time. Don't do any major stunts, because <laughs> we need you back. Um, so thanks for this, Alistair. And what it is, he's put all... The only things that I'm using, up, which are my own, is the razor, and this is the Parker 99R. And it's a beautiful razor, as you can see. It's a twist to open, non-adjustable, and that's the razor I'm using. And the brush I'm going to use is the Omega Badger brush. And them are the only two things I'm using which are mine. Everything else, Alistair has supplied. And he's put each item, very cleverly, good idea, in these little um, Kinder Surprise eggs. You know, that these are inside the Kinder Surprise eggs. And he's put, uh, he's wrote on it, soap. And so I've got to try and guess what each item is. So if I can get into it. There we go. That's it. So there's a, there's a little, uh, there's the soap. There's, you know, I don't know what it is. It's just, <laughs> I've got to guess this. Now from the, it's a shave stick, obviously. But I can't at this present moment guess what it is with a scent. So that goes in my shave bowl, red bowl, and I'll start to. And the razor, the the blade, razor blade, is in here. Now he's done a clever thing. 
and if I can get into these, just bear with me, there we go, he's put it in a blank envelope and he's even blackened out the name. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to guess what that is, so I'm going to place that into the razor now. So yeah, as I say, uh, I hope you enjoy the question and answers video. Sorry they were so long and so many of them, but I wanted to answer each one. I was, as I said in the video, going to accumulate all the same sort of questions, but I thought, no, people are good enough to leave the questions, I'll answer them separately. So, blade is in, the black blade, <laughs> the unknown blade, uh, slight overhang, so that's to be aware of that. Um, the aftershave splash, I'll have to be very careful how I open this, is in here. Maybe you can't see it, but uh, hmm. I'm saying nothing yet. That seems familiar, but and the cream, moisture cream. There's a blob in there. So let's get on with it. I'm going to start lathering up. I'm not sure how this will lather. So I'm going to lather it as I lather my soap. So I'm just going to go in to the puck and just. I'm not even. I didn't even soak this soap just to see if I can have an idea by watching it uh, how it performs, really. Yeah, so uh, we've had some dry weather lately. Uh, no rain, so shh, don't say anything. While I lather this up, um, what's for my Sunday dinner? Well, it's going to be roast lamb today with mint sauce on the lamb. Uh, potatoes, going to mash them, put a bit of salted butter and black pepper in the mash. Um, no roast potatoes today. I might do Yorkshire puddings. Um, cauliflower, carrots, no, cauliflower and broccoli, sorry. And um, a lot of gravy. So that's today's. I like a Sunday. This is coming on lovely. So as you can see, Perfection. Do you know I can't tell what this is? And I said to him, I'm gonna be honest, but the the neat thing is at the end, everything I use in these little containers, he's put the original packaging in here. So at the end it's been taped. Um there. So at the end of the shave, secret. <laughs> I'll open this and see. If I guess anything, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, and uh, so it's a good idea, that bit of fun. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this lather now. That's that's come on beautifully. So I'll just rehydrate my face. Ready? Are we steady? <laughs> Look at that. Do you not? Cannot tell. I'm doubting if it's one I've used before or not often. I don't know, I can't tell from this. Uh... Right, 
Right, let's try this. Let's hope the ink off that blade doesn't run. Good audio feedback with this razor. Well, I don't think it's a Wilkinson sword. Um, let me try it down here. Mm -hmm. It's doing a good job. Um, Torn. That's a strange I'm torn. Wow, well, good audio feedback with it. Uh, between a persona. Sona or Astra, an Astra blade, but I couldn't tell which Astra uh, or which persona actually. Doesn't feel Right, relather. Persona Astra. Hmm. I got a. Hmm. I had a feeling La Toja. La Toja. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to. No, I'll wait till the end of the shave. And uh, this is a quick lather, actually, but it's doing the job. Doing the job, lovely. The secret shave. <laughs> Across the growth. Well, I don't think it's Wilkinson sword. Something that's not persona. I'm gonna guess. I'm probably totally wrong. Um, persona Wilkinson sword. I'm gonna guess it's an Astra, but I can't tell which Astra it is. I'm probably way out, but that is my guess. It's more than likely a, a blade I've never used or something. It doesn't feel familiar, if that makes sense. How can a blade feel familiar? Well, if you use enough of them, you'll understand what I mean. It's a lovely shave. The soap is a very, very mild scent. It's not a familiar scent to me. Um,
it seems uh, a basic soap you are saying that now would be an expensive one or something uh, it's some sort of basic soap scent I could be wrong but um, It actually smells like an old school soap we used to have. Right, without insulting the soap, obviously. Let's gather some more. Just dip the brush in water, and that'll give it a, another boost. It's been fun, this, to try. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? Because I can't. This soap likes to be worked, I can tell that. It likes to be worked. Um, but you're not long getting there. It does remind me of something too. Well, it's not Derby, it's not Arco. Um, still can't tell at this stage. So, last pass against the growth. The most satisfying pass, or the most painful pass in the beginning when you start on. Listen to that feedback. It's a good blade. Um, I'm sticking with Astra. Persona Blue or Astra? No, I'll stick with Astra. I'm sticking to Astra. So. Some soaps and products, you know, you can tell straight away. Oh, I know what that is. But, uh, I can't with this. So I hope you're having a relaxing weekend. And um, sorry for putting my face so much in your face this week. Um, that's something else I was going to say as well. Um, if you if you've got no interest, you know those questions and answers. Don't feel you have to watch them. I don't feel you've got to watch them all, you know, they're there for you if you want to watch them when you've got time or whatever. But you know that, I hope. You know. Right. i got to say, this blade Um, isn't the best for me in this razor. I can just feel it's uh, slightly tuggy. But I expect it's a new blade. So some blades just don't go with certain razors but I've never had problems before. But uh, anyway, I'm sticking with Astra. A few pickups. 
let me just test the slickness of this soap. Oh no, there's no slickness there. No slickness. Well, very slight, but nothing. No, no, not that side. Hear that? That's no, that's not. That's not. Not much slickness. So just pickups. Well, I must admit, if I can't guess this soap by now, I'm not going to guess this. So I admit defeat <laughs> with the soap. Um, I can't tell. Now, the shave, it's, it's, it's performed well during the shave. There's nothing wrong with the soap, but it doesn't leave much slickness. Um, whether that would change if I lathered it and lathered it for about 20 minutes, um, I don't know, but... There's not much slickness left on this shave, but there's enough slickness to do the, the pass or the passes. But you would want to put this soap, re-lather, if you're going over your face, you want to put some more on because it doesn't leave much glide. That's a lovely sound. That blade is performing better on the third, this pickup pass on the third pass, but it was a bit, it does feel a bit tuggier than normal, so. I'm sticking with, oh, that's lovely, that's smooth, right so, oh, just a touch there, just bear with me. I'll try it once more. Yeah, not much slickness. I love this bit. Right. Rinse off. <coughs> Cold water. Because I'm not using witch hazel today, because I'm just using the products supplied by Alistair. So the razor obviously is the Parker 99R. The blade I'm going to guess is an Astra blade. I can't tell which one, but Astra. I, I'm going to stick to it. Probably wrong, but I'm going to stick to it. The soap I cannot guess. The way it lathers, the scent is very, 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 very um, mild. It smells sort of basic-y soap scent, um, but I can't guess. It's not Derby or Arco, and I can't guess what it is. So, soap, I don't know. So now, aftershave splash. Now this smells very citrusy to me. Yeah, I'm getting, go on, get your nostrils on there. <laughs> just a bit on there, just bear with me. Slight tingle. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Hey. Eh? If I was to guess what this is, I would say it's an Evin cologne or a copy of Lemon sherbet's sweets. Cool, that's nice. I would say that uh, Evan lemon cologne or a, um, some something similar. Uh, God, that smells so familiar. I will say Evan cologne, lemon cologne. I'm probably wrong. But, um, or it could be a, a, a similar one like Duru 
or Turkish lemon cologne, some sort of. Anyway, we'll see. It's all in this box. Uh, the moisturising cream is very, very thick. Um, God, I would say Arco. I would say Arco. That was. That, it's the same sort of texture. Mm, Arco. Yeah, I'd say Arco moisturising cream. Um, or Nivea. It's got a Nivea scent to it as well. Mm. I've got to make my mind up. Nivea Arco, probably way out. Arco. Right, now, um, so I've passed on the soap. I'm going to say Evin Lemon Cologne or a Turkish Lemon Cologne. Um, a moisturising cream, I'm going to say Arco. So now I will open this on camera if I can. Oh, that was easy. Wait a minute. That's the other one. If I can. Da, 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 da. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm way out. <laughs> right, the soap, I had no idea. No idea at all. And it turns out it's D.R. Harris Shave Stick, Marlboro. Wow, I am surprised. I would have thought it would have given more slickness than that. But it may need this sort of soap, it might need to be soaked. It might need to be lathered and nurtured a lot more than I give it. So we'll let it off with that, but I never knew, I would not never have guessed there was a, a top name like that. Dia Harris Shave Stick Marlboro. Excellent. Right. Um, blades. Oh! Astra Green. <laughs> I got the blade right. Astra. Oh, I'm chuffed about it. I nearly said Persona. He said, I don't know, Persona. Astra Blade. So I was right on the blade. Um, now this is interesting, the aftershave splash is Geo Trumpers West Indian Extract of Limes. So I was right with a citrus, I said lemon, um, can I be forgiven, but I was wrong, it's limes. But I knew it, I knew I'd sent, I'd sent this sort of smell before. Oh, go on. Oh, it's fantastic stuff. That's lovely. See, I won't take any out, Alistair. Because I'm giving them all these back, you see, next week. Um, West Indian limes. So I was wrong on the cologne. I said lemon, Turkish cologne. It was a limes by Geo... Geo E. No, Geo F. I can my glasses. I was going to say, change the name here. E. Geo F. Trumper. West Indian limes and the moisture cream I would never have guessed it is sheer body butter the body shop never have guessed that it's a good cream actually that's a good cream yeah it didn't, even the sheer butter but I thought there was a good, you can tell, it's a similar texture to Arco that. So if you own this, you'll know it's similar to Arco in, in sort of, you know, buttery, like a um, very thick butter texture. But I didn't guess it, I said it was Arco. So um, 
one pass Astra Bukaki. I'm glad I didn't say Persona, I'd have failed a lot. <laughs> that was a good idea that, bit of fun doing that, so thanks Alistair. Um, I am so shocked about this soap being DL Harris. Absolutely, I thought it smelled like a bit, there's not much fragrance to it. Let me just, oh well it smells different in this. Slightly different, very mild scent. Not a not an un unpleasant scent at all, but I, I thought it would have been more sort of luxurious the soap or the lather. But as I say, it may need to be worked uh, in order for it to um, become more creamy and stuff like that. But uh, one out of what four? <laughs> well, I didn't fail completely. That's that's my uh, saving grace. But it was a good lot of fun. So thanks, Alistair, for that. Hope you enjoyed that, everybody. We'll do that now and again. Just a, a secret shave or a, a surprise shave. And another thing I like to do is ask Mrs H to come in to my shave then. Pick what she would like me to use. And a lot of times she's not picking them for the scent or the, you know, she's just the look. Or she might go to a cologne. Oh, that's nice. Use that. Uh, you know, that's what it'll be the sniff test. <laughs> or the look test. So uh, that's it then. So we've used Parker 99R, non adjustable, beautiful razor. These are about 20 odd pounds. A good starter razor. Not, um, that is an Astra blade, the black blade. Um, so I'm glad I, I guessed that right. But um, it's not a blade I put in that razor often because it was a bit. It did the job, but it was a bit tuggy for me. But um, it doesn't match that razor for me personally. Omega Badger Brush, DR Harris Shave Stick Marlboro, which I'm shocked about and I got wrong. Um, GOF Trumpers West Indian Limes, extract, extract of limes, beautiful cologne or oh, aftershave splash. And um, the scent, lovely, sherbet lemons, even though it's a lime. So I got that wrong. And the Shea Body Butter from Body Shop, which I thought was Arco. Got that wrong. <laughs> but fantastic, feel very protected, what do you think? Done the job. So, thanks for watching uh, the shave. And as I say, there's one more video to come but don't feel like you've got to go and rush and watch them and you know at your own leisure if you wish to watch them at all. So but they're there for you. I appreciate all your support and your kindness and um what a fantastic community, you know. Tell your friends, your family, hint, buy them one of these and say use it. You will never beat it. Once you get used to it and once you start going, you'll be addicted if you're anything like us. But, um, yeah, fantastic. Lovely. So that was the secret shave. And uh, I failed abysmally, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I got one right, so I'm thrilled to bits about that. <laughs> so have a fantastic Sunday. And um, a great start to next week. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So take care of yourselves.